Nobody else in Britain was doing what we were doing, or doing it purely for the exploration rather than to have a career. Cosmic organicism of the universal molecular. Coombe for sure. The ethos of Coombe was that anyone can do art. You don't need a degree. There was nothing like it in Hull. You'd go around the corner, you'd be doing your daily shop, and suddenly you'd come across a wacky sort of setup with myself and the other guys. And now here he's wearing his copyright breeches. Which meant that wherever we were, we were copywriting the situation. The Coopini was everywhere and it was post-coital, rather than erect like Throbbing Gristle. <laughs> and I kept saying to them, you know, I'm sure there'd be more receptive audience down in London. Hackney was just very working class, difficult, hardcore area. Spent a bit of time in London with them. It was starting to change. It became more sinister. We do blood and milk and wine enemas, and then urinate into a milk bottle, and then masturbate. The symbolism of used tampons and the sequence of blood from beginning to end is really quite a beautiful thing. We knew that there was trouble brewing because it was starting to hit the press. The ICA had another in its long-running series. This was called prostitution. two dogs which were in costumes in black with huge fluorescent genitalia and they'd be having sex. There was me on the swing but then I peed right across as I went along. I don't think people should expect to see overt attacks on the status quo from artists. We proved that nobody needed to have any training to make successful radical new art. Let's prove that you can also have a successful, radical, innovative band with people who can't play. The country was in a real mess, and I think the music was a representation of that. And my relationship with Jen was in trouble big time by then. She was smashed. The breakup with Jen would not have been easy. How are we going to cope with that now? Jen's going to go off and do his thing. A lot of the press are treating Psychic TV as a band. But in fact, it's much more than that. Can you tell us a bit about some of the concepts that you're dealing with? <laughs> no. I think I was recording in the bedroom and Chris just said, just sing about anything you like. So that's why it's spoken word at the beginning. Um, to Chris, just to say how I felt about how we decided to be together. He took my hand on the stairs. No one was around. It's gone global. Trust me when I say this, they never expected that. I never saw what I did as, as art, really. It was just what I did. What we do now is still Coom Transmissions, and Coom Transmissions is Pandrogeny, and Pandrogeny is industrial music. They're all the same project. Being called the Wreckers of Civilization by Nicholas Fairburn wasn't a real problem. And he said, it's Jen there. And I went, no, he said, oh, is that William Burroughs? And I said, fuck off, and put the phone down. <laughs> he did, you got him saying that? That was hilarious. 